friends and family. Thank you for tuning into Devotions. Today we are talking about our church values and the one we are really discussing today is the goodness of God. And I really want you to experience the goodness of God, even just receive His goodness as we are ministering today to you. I want to read to you out of 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 out of the NIV. And it says here, And we all with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Now the Lord Jesus has the Holy Spirit, and He is poured out on us, and we can experience the glory of God because of how we perceive Him and how we perceive ourselves in Him. And today I just want to encourage you, increase in glory as you start understanding the glory of Jesus and what is done on your behalf. But something that a lot of people miss is the fact that the glory of God is the goodness of God. And I want to just read to you out of Exodus 33 verse 18 out of the New King James. It says, and he said, please show me your glory. Then he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. So this is Moses speaking to God and he says to God, God, show me your glory. And then God says, I'm going to put you in the cleft of a rock and I'm going to make my goodness pass before you. Today, I want to just encourage you, my friend. Expect God's goodness to start following you around every corner. Let it overtake your life. We sometimes disqualify our hearts because we think we haven't been good enough to deserve God's goodness. But I want to encourage you, God is not good to you because you've been good. God is good to you because He is good because of what Jesus has done on your behalf. So just let God love on you. Let God be good to you. You know, there's an adventure that God has for you for today. He wants to show you His goodness. So enjoy God and let God's goodness pass before you today. There's good happenings today coming your way. And I'm speaking that over your life. And I'm expectant with you that God's goodness is going to prove Himself faithful to you today. Trust God. Let Him do it for you. You are highly favored and deeply loved of God.